Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here with Jamie Smith. Um, here, we're going to talk about your career um, as amateur and also talking about um, obviously the bell and talk about what, what obviously your future plans for 2018. Yeah, All right, so let's talk about how did you get into boxing? You know what? Just, uh, started off when I was young, young, you know, as you do, fighting, you get a fight. You get Go a on, fight. tell us about it. Start, <laughs> start from school, yeah. you get into trouble, okay, get into a few things. A lot of personalities, you know, a lot of clashing yeah. um, in school. I tried to stay clear of that, you know. Um, not that I was into my, you know, academic side of things, because I just wanted to get through school. You know, I just wanted to get through school, get it done, get out in a big wide world. Yeah, uh, yeah through to about 16, 17, well, so like 14, I had my, my jaw broke. Jaw broke, so that was fighting. We were playing football. Mm. Playing football with a bit of madness. Basically, got cracked, jaw broke. Broke in three places, uh, had to have plates in my jaw. And ever since then, more come out of my shell, a bit more confidence, you know, I had to be, I had to be, rather than them seeing as me being, you know, you know, he's weak, he's been beat up, let me pick on him. Mm. Nah, nah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, so from there, again, and it was, it was one of them things, yeah, where I'm from, Slough, uh, it was, eat or be eaten and that was it you know you you go out at night me and my brother I'll go out see groups of people and then yeah people want to start new trouble and you just deal with it you deal with it at the end of then and I've got like got a rep on the street got my name up people you know heard about me would see me try it and again I'm not the type to start trouble but you know I have to deal with it if it comes my way and then that got me into trouble it got I was about 18, 19, um, again, it was football again, football, so I stopped playing football, by the way. Mm. Um, guy kicked me in my leg, I turned around, he swung for me, I ducked, I cracked him, I broke his jaw. I got, uh, got done for GBH. Um, he attacked you? He, he swung for me. Yeah, yeah. So, you can say, but I, so I went for self-defense, and yeah. obviously, and he had loads of people with me, so I didn't go my way. Mm. And so I got, yeah, done for GBH, lucky he didn't send me to prison. Mm. My girlfriend, well, that's how I said at the time, she's still with me. She's my girlfriend, she said, you need, to, you, know, you need to channel that anger. You need to take it somewhere positive. And uh, I turned to boxing. And uh, since then, yeah, that 22 fights, 19 wins, Harringay champion, just won the AB, ABA novices, um, just won the English title, uh, that was about, about a month ago. And yeah, it's just taught me discipline, got, got me to where I am. And Andy's a big, a big, a big part in that. Definitely, definitely. Andy, Andy brought me up from. We started at High Wycombe. Uh, started at High Wycombe. I was a novice boxer. Just went in there. I wanted to take people's heads off. Mm. And without, without knowing the game, I, I walked into the gym. I must have dropped four or five people. I thought, well, I thought this is easy. Mm. Called up a sick uh, coach at the time. Called up a 60 kilo, 60 kilo guy. Must have had 15, 16 bouts. Kick shit out of me, man. Kick, 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 kick me all about the ring. And I thought, oh, I thought, it's not work. It's not work. I need to learn. Mm. I need to learn. And yeah, from there, mental toughness, physical toughness. You need to be fit. Fit, man. You need to be fit in this sport. You'll get caught out. You'll get caught out. What kind of fighting style would you say you got? <clears throat> I'd like to say, I want to say, what do I want to say? Lively. A lively style. I like excitement. I like that. I like that. And um, people like that too. I think. I've been told I'm exciting. Um, I like to hit people, man. I do like to hit people. Obviously, I take that. I take that into a ring. Like I said, discipline. Don't ever take it outside the ring. That's fundamental. That's what they teach you from the start. You know, at the end of the day, it's um, a disciplined sport. And if you're not disciplined outside the ring, you know, you're going to take that into the ring. And again, these people are going to school you because they've. They've been schooled there from, from young. I've been doing it three years, three, four years. Really? Yeah, 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 three, four years. See, actually, I haven't said that. Okay, I'm, I was, cause I started it late in it. Okay, so, obviously it was- So you've been a fighter longer. That's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, I was saying, I was the street rules, man. Yeah, 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 so you, you're naturally gonna fight, yeah. yeah that's what, and that's learn that to box. And, and that's, why, that's why I'm live in the ring, and that's, that's why I bring the rawness. Mm. The rawness. Don't you, I've, got, I've got a lot to learn. 
and I'm learning it. Mm. Right, it's, it's a journey. It's so so tell us about the day when you won that belt then, because I wasn't there. I've seen the pictures and I was, it's a, obviously a beautiful belt. Yeah, what, is it? Yeah. What, what belt was it again? It's an uh, English title. English title. Tell us how, tell us, uh, because Courtney won the first, Lewis won the second. Yeah, English, and it's the southern area. The southern area. Yeah, yeah. And then tell us about where you won that belt and, and what, and tell us okay. about the bit of the fight. You know, I can't remember exactly where I won the belt. It was a two hour journey though. Mm. Um, Andy, Andy talks to a lot of people. He likes getting, getting stuff lined up for us, you know, you know puts us in the limelight, puts us about, which I like. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he sorted it out, he got, he got it set up, well, the, the guy I was meant to be fighting originally, I'm going to be defending it next month. Um, so then they had a substitute come in, I don't, I, don't, didn't, I don't know who he is, can't remember who he is. Um, but turn up, done the business, you know what I mean? First well, you round. Were, first round you done him, first, first round. round. Yeah, man, I come out, come out, it was a bit stiff, I was looking back and it was a bit stiff. Come throw through a couple of feints, see what he had. I see, um, I feigned Eddie through a sloppy hook, I thought. Ah, that was slow. Feigned him again, didn't do nothing. Faded up, down, through an overhand right, hit him with a left hook. And he, he dropped, yeah, 12 seconds in the first round. And fair play to him, he got back up. He was a tough guy, tough guy. Um, and like I said, when I smell blood, I go for it. And um, he, I, I sort of lost respect right there, and I caught a couple of shots. Still didn't throw enough, there's still no respect, and I caught him, with an, he slipped, slipped down to me and I caught him with an uppercut and yeah, finished, finished the fight. Wow man, it's yeah. impressive man. Yeah, so that's right. It's, it's, it's a nice feeling. It's a good yeah, feeling, isn't it? It's a good feeling. And then, I mean, the, especially the club, obviously, it hasn't been around. This is a year. No, no. Uh, around exactly. now. So, you you know, you, Courtney Lewis, and that, you're yeah. the, like the flag bearers for the rest of the club. Yeah, that's and it. for the other kids right. coming through. Yeah, 100%. Yeah? 100%. Yeah, definitely. We want to set pace. You know, we want to show these kids what you can achieve with uh, by dedicating yourself. Yes. You know, no matter what aspect, you need to just dedicate yourself to it. Mm. Um, yeah, and that goes for everything. Whatever you want to do, whatever channel you choose, choose in life. Mm. And yeah, mine's boxing, man. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're gonna talk about um. So, you, so you, you're looking to turn pro, apparently, yeah, at the end of the season, and see how you yeah. just get enough accolades as well. Yeah, of course. Tell us about how you think that journey is gonna go. You know what? Um, because I'll be turning pro cruiserweight. I've been looking at cruiserweight, and obviously you look at people in the limelight, like Isaac Chamberlain, a Cody there in the limelight at the moment, and look at them fighters. You strive to be fighting people like then, you know, you watch them, you watch them like, oh, I wish that could be me one day. And it will be, no doubt. I mean, you've got to have self-confidence, self-belief, and with that, you can go a long way, as well as obviously your dedication to the sport. And um, yeah, I've been, I'm, I'm looking at the top 10, and you know, no one, you know, no one blows me out of the water, so to speak. But um, yeah, Isaac Chamberlain, Lawrence Nicoli, their, their names, you know, then they're, they're the people in my, my eyesight, you know. Domestically, yeah. Yeah, domestically, because that's, you know, that's where I want to be. I want to be in the line that. I want to mm. be five people like these. Mm. Yeah, it'd be great, great, yeah, and that's how I see myself. I see myself, well, obviously not straight away. Got to build up a reputation, uh, show people what you're about, get everyone interested. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Give a message to your supporters and the people who've been supporting you all these years and, okay. and what they expect for 2018. All right, so shout out to Andy. Obviously my coach now from the ball boxing. IQ, IQ have had a lot to do with us. You know, Zav, Nick, big shout out to them man. Big shout out. Definitely. Who else do you want to shout out? You know, all the boxers are around me, they bring me on leaps and bounds. We learn so much from each other. Yeah, shout out to everyone man. Everyone close to me, everyone I know. Mm. Yeah, man. Hey, Jamie, and man. you, EJ, man. And you. Yeah. Coming down. Yeah. Coming down. I appreciate it. Hey, yeah, boy, listen, if it wasn't for you putting the hard work in, hey. you wouldn't see me. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, well, I'm in the elite this year. I yeah. see, want to see where that takes me. I've got a couple of defences of this. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll make, you know, hold, keep hold of this. You know, take one back home with me. Keep it. We've got to defend it, I think, three times. And, and then it's yours for keeps. So, hopefully, keep it. Do the elites. I'll see how I want to get. Obviously, I'm looking to win it. Don't want to come second. Don't want to come second anything. Yeah, it's you know right. I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, end of the year, get a few more because it's all about getting that experience. So when you go into the pros, you're ready for it. You're ready, and I'm going to be ready, man. Absolutely, man. Hey, wait, hey, listen, man. It's been it's a great pleasure being in interview. We look forward to for your journey in 2018, Jamie Smith. Yeah, uh, thank boy, you you've done some great accolades, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You thank you. You're welcome. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here.